I wasn't gonna make a video on this topic, but I'm astonished. So I was at a gym last night and I opened TikTok and this video from Star Stable comes up. It's basically of them being like, when Star Stable has double Star Wings week and also Black Friday in the same week. And the audio goes like, look at me and this opportunity standing in front of me. And then I opened the comment section and bro, I was stunned, all right? Like too stunned to speak. The amount of just negative comments, I was like, bro, I don't feel like the villain no more. I don't feel like the bad guy no more. You know what I mean? Because everyone's like, Dennis is such a hater. He's so mean. I didn't. I literally felt like the biggest, <laughs> the biggest angel. You know what I mean? Like, because people say I'm very negative and like whatever. But yeah, I, I need. We need to talk about it, dude. We need to talk about it. So people are very disappointed in the Black Friday update. Even though I've heard some people, I've heard people actually enjoy this update. Um, I've seen some comments, but most of the ones that TikTok that I've that I've watched from Star Stable were negative. So. I'm gonna give my input on the update first and then we'll talk about the TikTok, how the community feels about this update. So honestly, in my opinion, from a business perspective, the Black Friday update is very smart from Star Stable side. Um, I've seen someone comment under that TikTok and being like, the fact that we we need a Black Friday uh, update for us to afford things in the game, like how did we get here? And I'm like, that's not why Star Stable is doing this, it's not because you can't afford it, because they don't, they don't care, they, they literally don't care if you cannot afford it. They only care about making money. You know what I mean? Like they don't care about you. They don't care about you as an individual. They just want to make the cash. Bro, what are you doing here with your cat? You freaking weirdo. What are you doing with your hands? Are you alright, dude? Do you wanna talk about it? What are you doing, my friend? You're very weird. Anyway, so I personally like the idea of the discounted horses. I think it's really cool. Star Stable again does not care about you not being able to afford horses. If they did care, they wouldn't have the prices that they do for Star Queens. And um, yes, the Starcoin's prices did increase because of the inflation, which makes sense. Every company has probably increased their prices because of the inflation. Like, we don't live in a clown world. Like, this is the real world. This is what happens. Um, companies need to adapt and change things. So it's very normal that Star Stable increased the prices of the Starcoins. Now, what is not normal is the fact that even before the inflation, the Starcoins prices were just too much, were too high. If we look at Radio Redemption, and let's be honest, dude, you cannot compare Radio Redemption with Star Stable. They're just, you cannot do it. Radio Redemption is huge. The graphics are insane, the team is like huge. I'm pretty sure like over a thousand people worked on that game. I may be wrong, so take everything I say with a grain of salt regarding Red Dead's team. So yeah, Star Stable's prices have always been extremely high. So they're not and they're not justifiable. Like you cannot justify the price. I'm pretty sure it's like 30 bucks for a horse, for a pixel horse, that's insane. So don't call my page and tell me how Star Stable has increased the prices because of the inflation, because I know they did that and it's it's normal they did that. What is not normal is the fact that the prices are really high. They've always been high, even before the inflation. It's just absolutely ridiculous. They don't have a thousand employees to pay, so their prices, again, are just not justifiable. And this game is literally just pay to win. Like, if you don't pay for this game, you, you literally have nothing. I have a friend who just DM'd me today, who texted me, and told me, Hey Dennis, I'm leaving the game. I want to invest my money in something else, in my real life horses and in sports. So I'm like, the fact that my friend has to leave the game because he no longer wants to spend money in the game, like that's worrisome. It's a pay to win game, you know what I mean? Like if you don't pay, you cannot, you cannot play the game. So my friend is like, alright, so if I'm not going to spend any more money in this game, then it's unplayable, like I cannot play it anymore. Do you know what I mean? Like does it make sense? If you don't pay for this game, you cannot play it, like it's unplayable, that's just dumb. So, you're born blood, no one, like who, who likes these rodents? Their coats are mirrored, they're ugly. I don't know why I bought so many of them, they're extremely just disgusting, like that's what it is. The sky is blue, they're ugly. Then there's this one, which um, the Arabians are really like. I have all of them except for this one, and except for the Palomino, because the Palomino is probably the ugliest... Uh, this Palomino in particular is the ugliest horse coat I've ever seen in my entire life. It's very orange and just disgusting. Like, if you have this horse, we need to sit down and talk about it. Alright, um, so then I also don't have this one on this account because I have it on my nicer account, but I do want to buy it on this account because it's I love Dapple Grays. Alright, so, yeah, and then there's Icelandic the horses, which, do you see how, like, we only have the, the old coats? Like, what is wrong with these horses? They're just, they're just embarrassing. Um, where's the new ones? The two new variations that you just brought in the game last month, or, like, two months ago, I don't, I don't recall properly, but the fact that we only have these coats, which are the old ones, that's just very greedy. And then we have these crusty horses, which, bro, I said the word crusty, like, I talked about the Mustangs in my TikTok account, that they're very crusty, and, um, people got so offended, like, they're crusty, the sky is blue, bro, like, if you think this horse is not crusty, then there is clearly something wrong with you, do you know what I mean? And 
yeah, it's just ugly. Like, I, people are like, oh, you're so insensitive because there's so nostalgic to me. I was in the game when the horses came out. Uh, like, this horse right here, this was the mascot of my channel, I just remembered. My old account, Dennis Youngstorm, my mascot of my channel was this Mustang right here. I don't even have it on this account because it's that ugly and crusty. Like, I'm not gonna lie to myself. Like, yeah, okay, the nostalgia, whatever. Do you know about the, the, the quarter horses, the generation one quarter horse, or whatever generation they are, the old ones uh, that got removed from the game? I made a video buying them before they left the game, and I said, yeah, they're ugly and crusty. Like, I know they're ugly, but I'm gonna buy them for nostalgia reasons, for nostalgic reasons. So, don't lie to yourself. This horse is ugly. Just because you like it because of nostalgia doesn't mean it's not ugly. Like, it doesn't... Just the fact that you're emotionally attached to a horse, it doesn't make the horse not ugly anymore. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, so, yeah, I'm gonna buy the double gray one. But before I do, I want to talk about the clothing area, the clothing sale, and the gear sale. So... This was extremely embarrassing. I'm just gonna say that right out of the bat. This is extremely embarrassing and cringe. So, first of all, what is this tag? Like, what... Who buys this? It could be free and I will not claim it. I'm not joking. This this tag right here could be free and I will not even touch it. Um, and then they discounted the, the things that were just extremely... Like, what the heck? Do you see this? Guys, do you see this? 9,900 Jervik shillings. So they basically made it from 10k to 9.9k. So the discount is just 100 shillings. So it's either just extremely old and tacky, tack, tacky tack, <laughs> or it's just overpriced tack, which is now a more, it's not even a more reasonable price, like it's literally just a discount for 100 Euro shillings. So the whole tack gear sale is just embarrassing, and they could have just like not brought it out at least, because this is just cringe. The horses have a really good discount. Um, again, it's really, just really weird that for the Icelandic horses, we only have the old coats to choose from. And then we only have the Arabians, which are like a decent breed. I mean, a really good breed, I love the Arabians. But like the Yerby Bloods, bro, and then what, the freaking Mustangs, like, why would we want to buy those? So from this whole update, from the Black Friday update, I like the Arabians, that's it. Other than that, nothing. And maybe the Icelandic horses. I was actually gonna buy one of them, or actually like two of them. Um, I was gonna buy either this one, just because I kind of like it, but the main styles are just turning me off entirely. I don't know, just, there's just no good main style for the Icelandics, like none of them look good. And then I was also gonna buy the um, this one, just because it's just very detailed. The fur is very nice, like the coat, yeah, the fur details are amazing. So I was gonna buy these two, and then I was gonna buy the, the Dapple Grey Arabian, but for now I think I'll just buy this one, and I'm gonna make it... I like the razor cut, I don't know why, actually it's kind of weird. Alright, I'm gonna just do braids, but I'm so tired of braids, you know what I mean? I've just been doing braids all my life, like, I need to stop. Okay, we're doing braids. <laughs> you know what, I'll just get the normal mane, and I'm gonna name it Hollow Brain, because that's how I feel about Star Stable discounted attack from 10,000 shillings to 9,900. Alright, also I'm gonna make it an adult, and it's gonna be a mare. Alright, send the stable, there we go. And there's also the double star coins week going on, I'm not buying any star coins. The prices are just embarrassingly high. And it's also very unfair how, for me as an Eastern European player, it's much cheaper to buy star coins than for a US citizen player would be. It's just not fair. For me, I'm pretty sure that 5,000 star coins, which on double star coins because 10k, is 55 euros. And I'm gonna convert that into dollars. Hey Siri, how much is 55 euros in dollars? 55 euros is 57 dollars and 18 cents. And I'm pretty sure that for you as a US citizen, it is 75 dollars. I'm gonna check. All right, so this is my Nightstar account, as you can see here, and it's 70 bucks, bro, 70 dollars. So for me, it's 57 dollars, for you, it's 70 dollars. It might be because of each country's economy and salaries and whatever, like, wages. Anyway, I don't know, maybe that's the reason, regardless. The star coins prices are extremely high, and this game is almost... Isn't Rider Redemption like $80? And isn't being a lifetime Star Rider like a pay one Star Rider like the same price? Or even higher? No, I'm pretty sure it's 80 bucks for US citizens to buy a lifetime. And for Europeans, um, it's... What? 65? I don't know, I'm pay one Star Rider in both of my accounts, so I cannot check, but... I know the prices differ there too, like... For the US citizens, it's more expensive to be um, a pay one star rider than it is for us Europeans. Anyway, the price search is insane. My point is that this game is either more expensive or as expensive as Red Dead Redemption, which, again, you cannot compare the games. Like, Red Dead Redemption is huge. The graphics are amazing, the team is huge, and they need to pay the entire team. So, like, again, Star Stable's prices are just unjustifiable, and people are very angry about it, dude. I don't really talk about it just because, you know, I've kind of accepted the fact that, you know, this game is just overpriced and it's always gonna be that way, but 
maybe it's not the right just way to do it. Like maybe, you know, if we do talk about it, maybe Star Simple's gonna do something about it. But I don't know, dude. Even with the TikTok comments, people are very upset that Star Simple is ignoring all the negative comments and only responding to the to the positive ones. And at the same time, like, what are they supposed to do about it? Like, what do they want them to respond to your comments? Maybe what they should be doing is, you know, self-reflect a little bit and realize, okay, if the entire community of my game is upset at my company, then something is wrong and I need to do something. Like, maybe they shouldn't necessarily respond to the negative comments, but, like, take a step back and just self-reflect, you know? Because if your entire community base, or like 80% of it, is just mad at your game, then something is wrong with you. Anyway, the white knights I'm telling you right now are just shaking, quivering. I'm telling you they're at the second floor, bro. Their pants are full of their feces, like they're so mad. So, yeah, this update, again, the intention is good. I don't think they released this update because they care about you and they feel sorry that you cannot afford anything. They just want the money, like it's obvious. It's a, it's a business move. Like if they're gonna make double Star Coins week and then also the Black Friday deal, like don't make a TikTok being like, look at me and this opportunity to make more money. Cause it's kind of embarrassing. Um, I didn't think too much of it, but bro, when I opened the comment section, I was like, what is this? Did you guys see those two people? I've recently started uploading TikToks on my account and bro, people are just not getting it. And it's funny because you guys know me because you watch my YouTube videos, but if you don't know me and if you watch a video of me just like talking out of context, like bro, people are going insane in the comments. It's so entertaining to watch, to like um, read the comments, it's so funny to me. I took this short clip from my last video where I basically called this, this light gray horse that I'm riding right now a white horse and I posted that on TikTok. But people don't know that the reason that I called this light gray horse white is to annoy the barn witches with their annoying ass horse terminology like we we know it's a light gray horse i'm still gonna call it white just because you're so irritating you know what i mean like why do you get so butthurt over people calling a light gray horse white like it's not that deep like we know it's a light gray horse but i'm still gonna call it white just because you're annoying so yeah i took that video out of context and posted on tiktok and people people lost their marbles dude i'm just gonna say that anyway honestly reading the comments from that TikTok of Star Stable made me feel just uncomfortable, like, made me sad. Because you guys think I hate this game. I mean, when I say you, you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the rats in the back of the class. Like, I'm talking about the, the lice infested rodents in the back of the class. I'm talking about you. Like, if you're a dinky rat, I love you, you know that. But like, the rats in the back of the class, bro, they think I hate this game. The reason I play the game is because I love it. And um, the reason I pay money to play the game is because I like the game. I'm not gonna go over that again, because you're not gonna get it. I feel like it's useless for me to say this over and over again, because people are just not getting it. And if they're not getting it, they're just not getting it. Like, there's something wrong with them. And me talking about it over and over again, it's not gonna change anything. It's just their brain who will not process this information. It's just not coming through um, on their end. I don't know what it is. Not of my business, anyway. So, it made me sad to read the comments, because... Again, I love this game, and to see it, like... Just be so... In such a bad state. Like, the game is in such a terrible state, and people are so over it. Of course I'm, it makes me sad. I'm not mad at the people being mad. I'm just sad at, you know, seeing the way things are going with this game. It's just sad. It's sad to see where it's gotten. I'm too laggy, I can't do this. It's sad to see where it's gotten. It's sad to see it just be going downhill, I guess. I don't know. In my opinion, Star Stable's been doing better than it has been, like, in the past few years. Like, I've seen them actually, the fact that I have enough money to even, like, travel. I've seen them care a bit more. I don't know why. I've just seen them care a bit more than they did in the past. Do you guys remember those months when we just get, like, daily i mean weekly updated races like that would be it like we'll just get updated races like new races sorry like that was the entire update just a new race and then like a small quest side quest whatever um i feel like star stable has been slightly more alert because of our voices because they've seen us be so upset i feel like they put more effort in the game lately like at least even though, like with horses and animations and the way they the way they they make the horses and i know i know they want money that's why they make more horses but even so, the horses look better than they used to in the past. And um, the warm blood that I'm riding right now, this breed is actually animated by uh, Lisa, which animated the Frisian horse, the Yervik Fuglies, the Generation 3 Ohio Frisian horses. Like, she's improved a ton. Like, she's improved a lot, bro. You cannot tell me this horse has bad animation. I mean, you can, because it's your opinion, whatever. Like, if you think it has bad animations, um, I respect your opinion. Like, it's what you think. But in my opinion, it's just better. It's way better than the ugly Frisian horses. And again, on TikTok, I made a video calling the Yorvik um, Frisians the Yorvik Fuglies, and people got upset. Like, TikTok is just a whole new breed, bro. I feel like it's all those just Gen Z 
um, woke people who get offended by everything, who take your opinion so personally and just get offended. Like, I, I cannot stand the sensitive generation where everything you say is offensive, everything you say is just like a personal offense and attack, and they just are waiting to cancel you. Like, this whole generation is just lost, and it's so sad. Like, it's, I'm sad for you. Like, if you're one of those people, I'm so sad for you. Like, they've just, what have they done to you? Do you know what I mean? Anyway, yeah, this is what I think of the of the Black Friday update. People are so upset about it, dude. Like, I'm go read that, go watch a TikTok, go watch a TikTok, and go in the comment section. It's so sad to see this game just be where it is. Like, it's so sad to see people be so mad at the game. Um, I'm not mad at the people again, bro. Like, I understand why they're sad. I'm just sad that the game is where it is, like in the state. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm living under a rock, like most of the times, because I don't really watch any Star Stable YouTubers. I think there's only one or two Star Stable YouTubers that I watch. Um, you guys know I cannot stand all the just sugarcoating, just fake persona people put on, you know, just to be liked by everyone. The people please their persona. I cannot stand those YouTubers. They make me want to throw up. Like, I cannot, I kid you not, I cannot watch more than a minute and a half of their videos. And then I just close the video. And no, I don't leave hate comments. If you leave hate comments, then you're a loser. I have never in my entire life seen a successful, beautiful, head on their shoulders person leave a hate comment like if you take your time to write a hate comment to go in the comment section write a paragraph you are a loser bro i don't make the rules it's the truth like on this channel we don't do clown stuff like it is what it is it's the truth i don't make the rules dude if you take your time like i disagree with people bro i disagree with so many people like think of me how many opinions i have do you think i don't i don't disagree with people when i watch your videos of course i do am i gonna sit down and write a whole ass paragraph about how much i hate them like no i'm gonna I'm gonna close the video, maybe never watch your videos again, because they'll be just a waste of time. And why would I let my emotions be affected by them? Like, why would I let their videos annoy me and ruin my day? Okay, that's too much. It wouldn't ruin your day, but it would, like, annoy you. Like, no. I have a life, and I'm gonna focus on myself, get better, and then move on. Like, that's the thing. The people that leave hate comments, they're just not focusing on themselves. And that's why they're so miserable. That's why they have all of this time on their hands to leave hate comments. Like, they're just miserable individuals. That's what they are. They have so much free time, and that's why they have so much free time, because they don't focus on themselves, they focus on other people that are successful, and they're just jealous and angry. And it's just so embarrassing and sad. I've never in my entire life seen a hot person, a beautiful person, a successful person, head on the shoulders person, a person with good morals to leave a hate comment. I've never in my entire life met that person. I've never seen someone like that. Like, I'm telling you, all the people that leave hate comments, they're just losers. And instead of focusing on themselves, they focus on other people, because that's why they're where they are. That's why they're in such a miserable state. And do you know why people that are smart and successful do not leave hate comments? Because they focus on themselves. Like, they're doing... They're working on themselves. They're not preoccupied with someone else's lives. Like, if they don't like them, they just turn the video off and move on. You know what I mean? They have a brain and they use it. Anyway, how did we get here? I don't know how we got here. But it's like... If you're gonna go in Star Stable's video around on TikTok and, like, hate all these people that left their opinions, then, again, you're a loser. Like, people have opinions, and it is not about you. The fact that someone's mad at Star Stable is not about you, it doesn't involve you, like, not everything in this world is about you. Can you, like, understand that for a second? Like, the fact that people are mad at Star Stable is because they have the right to be mad at Star Stable, they pay for this game, they have certain expectations, and they don't hate the game, that's the thing. You don't understand this. They don't hate the game, they love the game, they want to see the game do better, they pay for this game, and it is normal, it is okay to have expectations from something when you pay for it. So, people pay for this game and they want to see the game do better. Of course they're going to have opinions, of course they're going to be upset, and you can't just invalidate their opinions. You can't just invalidate their anger and their opinions and frustrations. You just can't do that. If you think Star Stable is doing a great job, if you think this update is amazing, um, just like I do, I don't hate this update. I think it's, I think it's like somewhat alright. I do see where people are coming from, um, but I don't hate the update. I think it's pretty smart that Star Stable did this from a business perspective. Um, but again, the whole like not bringing all the Icelandic codes out, very uh, that is very greedy, and also the closing section doesn't make any sense to me. I've, I've talked about this, and I'm not gonna go over it again. But yeah, if you're gonna go in um, Star Stable's TikTok video and attack these people that are mad, you are all the things that I just mentioned above. You have too much free time on your hands, and you need to focus on yourself. Yeah, wow, this video like turned into something else. I wasn't gonna talk about this, but it makes me so sad to see Star Stable be just so hated. And you're gonna say I'm a hypocrite for saying that. Again, the reason I give Star Stable criticism is because I love the game and I want to see it do better. And the fact that there's still people that are upset with the game makes me sad because I love this game, it's my childhood game. I just want the game to do better and listen to us. And just, I don't know dude, just, you know, have the people, have me be happy with the game. I'm not mad with the game right now, I used to be very upset with the game. I just kind of accepted what it is, like, you know, it is what it is, dude. Like, what can I do about it? I've spoken so many times about this topic, I've made so many videos about it. I received so much hate for it, I'm still gonna, this video is gonna be, oh, I know. I know how much hate this video is gonna bring me, I don't care. 
it is what it is bro i'm not here to please you i'm here to just say the facts if i wouldn't be receiving hate i would think there's something wrong with me because that would mean i would be a people pleaser and i i don't do that so the fact that i can um the fact that i stir up reactions and emotions when i record videos that's a good thing that means i have um somewhat of a impact in this community like if i if i get a reaction out of you that means i have impacted your influence you in a way um, so that's a good sign. If I didn't have any hate comments, I would be like, there's something wrong with me. Like, everyone likes me, there's something wrong. Anyway, so, this video is gonna bring so much hate. I know it is, because people do not listen to what I'm saying. People just take things out of context. They go down to the comment section, don't listen to everything that I say in the video, and then they just comment something and, you know, get off the video. Yeah, the game is in a very bad state. I personally think the game is not in such of a bad state as it was a year ago. Um, I think they're more open to receiving criticism. They're still not very open to it, but they're more open than they used to be in the past. That's just what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, just do not invalidate people's feelings about this game. People love this game. I love this game. We're angry at the game because we love the game and we want to see it do better. We pay for this game so much money. We just talked about how expensive the game is. Of course, we have expectations. And if, and if they're not being met, of course, we're going to be upset about it. And just because someone has, just because someone has higher standards than you do, just because someone is not content with something while you're content with it, it doesn't mean they're like arrogant. It means they just have different expectations or something. They have just they just have higher standards. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with you for having lower standards, and there's nothing wrong with them having higher standards. But, like we can just agree to disagree on this topic. You know what I mean? Wow, this video turned into something else. Like I was not expecting to say all these things, but I just did. Yeah, I just want to see the game do better because honestly, like seeing all the comment section, people being so mad just made me sad because I don't want to, I don't want this game to be like I don't want this game to go down this path, you know what I mean? Like I want to see the game take just good decisions, listen to us and just do better dude because this game is like my childhood and it's it's the best horse game out there. It really is. Like it doesn't compete with any other horse games. Like it, it can do it, dude. It's an online game. Um all the other horse games that came out like Horse Tales, like they're good games but they're not online. Nothing can beat a game that's online. You know what I mean? Like it's it's way better when it's online. But anyway, um I hope you guys listened to everything that I said before, like leaving any comments. Let me know what you guys think of the Black Friday update down below, of the star points prices, of the fact that they're more expensive on different regions than they are in other regions. Um, I hope you listened to everything that I said without like getting like offended, because this is not about you again. Like this video is not about you. Like why does everything have to be about you and a personal attack? Do you know what I mean? And when I say you, you know what I'm speaking about, dude. You know what I'm speaking about when I say you. I'm not talking about you, thank you, Raz. I love you so much. You're right here in my heart, right here. I just tapped my chest <laughs> in the heart area. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you for being smart. Like you, you guys are really smart. Some of you are really smart. Like you just, you just use your brain, dude. And I'm, I'm so thankful that I have this community here of the Dinky Rats. You guys are just the best. I'm, I'm not joking. You guys are amazing. Stay tuned on my Instagram at Dennis Weistorm. There's huge updates coming soon. I can't talk about it just yet because I'm not ready to talk about it. But I'm gonna talk about it there first. I'm pretty sure, and then on YouTube. So. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram at Dennis Weistrom, that'd be awesome. And on TikTok at Dennis Weistrom, I would really appreciate it. Alright, my little rodents, see you in my next one. Bye, everyone.